flag, green flag. If they don't get by Jeff Gordon before they come around the next time, oh, they will not pass it. And Michael Walter. Walter. Michael Waltrip. Jeff Green is involved. Oh, ball. Jeff Gordon spinning down the inside. Gordon is in the grass. They're racing for the lead at the head of the pack, double yeah, wide. Stay below the white line. You got some people out there. There you go. Sterling oh, Marlin. He's got damage. He must have hit Gordon. And here comes Ward Burton on the outside. He's got Back a around. run. Track's clear. With Elliot Sadler giving him some help. Here's Jeffrey Bodine trying to help the 40 car. Caution flag is out. This could be the race to the finish of the Daytona 500. You'll see some rubbing here, I'm sure, getting back to the line. This is this may yeah, be yeah. it. Six cars sprinting toward the caution flag. Marlin inside, seeking his third 500 oh, win. Ward Burton mirror. trying to get his first victory. Two Dodges drag racing back to the caution flag. Who's going to get there first? Marlin oh, by the oh, oh. But what, who did all this crashing on the backstretch off turn two? See the debris off turn two? I think that was pieces still probably coming off oh, the cars from the wreck on from the, the wreck on the front stretch. I got you. Wow. That may I'll even. Fought. I mean, Sterling hung back so much there that, uh, I mean, you know, he. I just, I didn't have a choice but to slow down there. And he had a run on me and I blocked him, you know, got myself turned. That's got myself turned. Yep. Jeff Gordon's explanation. Michael Waltrip hit by Mark Martin. Rusty Wallace is involved. Watch Waltrip almost go by the pace car here. Yikes. And Robert Presley's car being pushed on pit road. Man, pace car gassed it right there at the last second. <laughs> Winston Cup director. And the man in the uh, blue sport coat right on the screen with the dark glasses is David Hoots. He is the race director. He's the referee, basically. His call, ball or strike. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's checked. He may have been wondering how that right front damage looks. The car. Sterling Marlin is jumping out of his car. He's going around to look at the right front fender. But, oh, he can't do that. You can't work on your car under the red flag. That's the NASCAR rule. Pull it off a little bit. You're not allowed hey, to work on out. your car they under the red flag. Sterling looked at it. What did he say? They wouldn't let him look at it, so uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how bad it is. We just, again, we just have to let's see. Is it? Uh, we might have to come in. We don't know yet. Hey, Matt. Matt, Manny. tell Lee that they wouldn't let him pull it out. They let him look at it. They wouldn't let him pull it out. Lee, they let him look at it, but they wouldn't let him pull it out because you know that's against the rules under red flag conditions. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, uh, good answer. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, it's, uh, again, it's just been a great day for the whole organization. Uh, hopefully he can get it out enough. <laughs> we have seen our share of twists and turns over the years in the Daytona 500, but this one just may top them all. Well, <laughs> I mean, we've had all kinds of things happen here in this last uh, hour of the race. We see the 33 car up there, Mike Wallace. He told me, Andy Petrie told him, Mike, if you finish in the top five in the Daytona 500, we'll go to Rockingham next week. Doesn't look like the 33 is going to go to, to the Rockingham race. Talking to someone. That's Mr. Mike France. just on the left of the screen. <laughs> I hear Jeopardy music playing somewhere. I'm just looking over there. BP, look over there. Just, I know there's a judgment call over there. You, we don't see any French judges in there, do we? Uh, <laughs> I don't see any, any place. <laughs> we'll be okay then. Should be okay. <laughs> All right. The officials are talking about it. But I know guys must have worked on the cars on the red before. Wh whatever happened to them? They were always sneaky when they did it. Oh, okay. They were not as clear. And, I mean, there's not as uh, blatant as Sterling Marlin was. They always kind of sneaked around a little bit. Somebody must have gotten in trouble for it. One someday, you know, I don't recall it ever in in my time on the Winston Cup circuit. I don't ever recall it. Someone being penalized for working on their car under the red flag. So I have no I, I have no memory of, of that ever happening before. Here's what they were saying down in the Sterling Marlin pits a minute ago. Sterling, were you below the yellow line when you passed Gordon? He run me down there. Left side was blowing the 
He had his left side below the yellow line when Jeff Gordon tried to... at the tail end of the longest line, Glove. All right, they just made the call. The longest line or lead lap? At the tail end of the longest line. About what I ask an official. That is the message being relayed to Sterling Marlin from his team. Mm -hmm. what? It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. He's going to the end of the longest line, but it would be for working on the on car. On the car during a red. Under that, the red flag. Right. Okay. Correct. So no penalty for going below the line, but the penalty to the end of the longest line is for working on the car under the red. Right. Is not that... the, n exactly, not the yellow line is, is not an issue. Okay. It's for working on the car during the red. Look at all those wrecked cars. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Martinsville out there. Coming up after the Daytona 500. Red flag is withdrawn. Yellow flag is now back out. Now you can work on your race car.